Have you ever wondered what would happen to the data on your phone if you were to pass away? Apple has added the option to add a legacy contact to allow a specified person to access your information and data in the event you may pass away. I'm Jessica from techboomers.com, and in this video, I'll show you how to add a legacy contact on iPhone. Now let's get started. To add a legacy contact on iPhone, open your Settings app. Tap your name at the top. Now select Password and Security. Scroll down and select Legacy Contact. Now tap Add Legacy Contact. After reviewing the details presented, tap Add Legacy Contact. Now select a contact you would like to designate as your legacy contact. Then tap Continue. In order for your selected legacy contact to be able to access your data, you will need to share your access key with them. You can choose to print out a physical copy of your access key to give to your legacy contact in person, or you can send your access key to them through iMessage, which will automatically save your access key to their device. In order to share your access key through iMessage, your selected legacy contact must also have their Apple device updated to the newest available software. Once you've printed or sent your access key, tap Done. So what all will your legacy contact be able to access? Your legacy contact will have access to all of your iPhone's data that is synced to your iCloud account, which may include photos, videos, messages, contacts, files, calendar, and call history. They will not have access to any password you had saved to your iCloud keychain, or to media purchased through iTunes, including music and movies. In order to access your saved data, your legacy contact will need your access key along with a copy of your death certificate. Apple reviews all legacy contact access requests before providing access to iCloud data, so only those requests who pass their verification requirements will be approved. That does it for our guide to adding a legacy contact on iPhone. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, we'd love it if you'd hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to our channel. We put out great new tech tutorials like this one every week.